Welcome to EDU World Space. In problems 99 and 100, we have a, um, a cable or ropes attached um, to one another through rings. And we have four segments. Um, and we have points A, B, C, D, Here's a clean and, and professionally e. formatted presentation of the calculation shown um, in the image. Let's see here. We have... I'm going to use A as the origin Application here. of the work energy theorem. We don't wet. know the, From the work vertical energy theorem, component the of force point F B. is given by F we equals the fact text KE, where C. KE equals kinetic point energy. D, we S also don't distance. know the vertical I'm given component. for object A, F A equals frac 100,000 and point E out here um, at the opposite for object end B, where F B it's equals frac 225, uh, 1500 equals 0.15 and force ratio frac F A in the horizontal direction and 4 feet or frac tunnel result. I'm a box frac F. We have, FB. um, this would is would you like a PDF C, version of this and explanation? Then this be FCB, and then this is FCB, and then this is BFBC. If we take our free body diagram of the entire structure here and some forces over A, B, C, D, and E, so all of these forces, the reaction forces and the external forces and then some moments about point a about all of those points so again that's this summation here where i is a b c d and e here we can also cut um this rope here and look at this a free body diagram of that subsystem and we know that that means that FB plus FA plus FBC BC has to be zero. And then if we take more much about point C, uh, we get this equation. So this will give us two equations, a third equation, a fit five more, five equations, and then six equations. And we can crank through and find the unknowns that we were uh, requested, at least partially. We can get from this set of equations we can get that yb is 8.67 feet the tension in this cable here which we were uh i guess we weren't really even asked for that but we i wrote it down here is 567 pounds and then the horizontal loads in at the at the um ground points are both 548 pounds now to find the distance, the horizontal, um, the distance below, the, or actually below the origin over here of point D, we can take a look at this substructure. Force balances will give us two equations. Moment balances will give us another equation. And then we can combine that with the equations for the entire structure and find that, uh, get enough equations so that we can solve for y sub d, and that turns out to be 7.04 feet. You can also get the tension in this cable, and that's uh, 604 pounds. Now for problem 100, we actually have the exact same analysis, but we're given, we'll just have a different unknowns in this case. Um, for problem 100, we have that y b is eight feet here. And we're asked to figure out what um, P1 is, which in my case, in my figure, is FC. And we also want to figure out what this sag is. So we can use the same equations as we derived before, um, but now let, um, let this force be an unknown. We have an unknown component in the horizontal direction or in the vertical direction. And then we would have this uh, YB is known. So again, we can crank through the algebra, and once we do that, we'll get that FBC is 854 pounds. FC, the applied load, is now minus 658 pounds in the vertical direction. So we have a load here, and it is uh, greater than it was in the previous case. 
that is prob that is because if YB is smaller, basically I think we're, we're pulling this down farther so this becomes uh, straighter here. So that would move this point up. So again, we're kind of adding more weight here so that it straightens this segment out because the, the angle here is going to be kind of dependent on the kind of the ratio of these two loads. Likewise, we can figure out the tension in the in um, in this cable here, the cable from C to D is 916 pounds, and that YD is 6.44 feet. In the previous case, it was 7.04 feet, so again, it has moved up, and that is because as we add more weight here, we're going to have a more, a more straight um, segments here. And so the angles at point B and point D will be smaller.